Well, with the popularity of soccer all across the country, including here in central Indiana, with the high numbers, there also are some significant injuries. Yeah, well, a recent study shows that injuries for kids playing soccer has increased more than 110% every year over the last several years. Our Carrie Klein has been taking a closer look at those numbers and the injuries, but also talking with the experts about how you can prevent them with your children. Good morning, Carrie. Yeah, good morning, Julia and Anne Marie. Those injuries are primarily focused on children between the ages of 12 and 17, and mostly for things like sprains and fractures. Concussions, a big area of interest when it comes to soccer, only accounts for about 7% of all injuries. Injuries, but they are rising dramatically as well, up 1,500%, mostly because of bad technique. You're supposed to use the front top part of your head like this. And not the front of your forehead, not your nose. Also, making sure the ball is properly inflated can also cut down on the risk of injury. We're going to talk more about that in a few seconds. But first, drive past any soccer field in central Indiana on most evenings, and you are going to see that they are full of kids playing the game and practicing the game. It is a very popular pastime here in central Indiana. And while doctors say just kids being out active and playing a game like soccer really outweighs the risk of injury. Still, parents have their concerns. I'm worried for this. I tell God, protect yourself. Like, if you have something like danger, both guys together in the air, don't do it. Like, you know, head to head contact. Yeah, head to head, head contact is good, uh, real danger. Because, uh, the, you know, the head is a little, you know, uh, it's not very strong. So what else can you do to prevent injury like what that parent talked about there? Well, first of all, a lot of teams like to use the goals that you can move around. That is fine, but you want to give it a quick tug. If you can pull it down, that's obviously bad. So you want to weigh it down in the back, maybe with sandbags, to make sure it doesn't come crashing down on the kids. Ball inflation, we talked about that just a few seconds ago. Make sure the ball is not over inflated. If it's too hard, that's going to hurt no matter where it hits, whether it's off your leg or your head. So just make sure that you can push in on it a little bit, not too much, but a little bit so it's not too hard. And finally, don't ever underestimate the value of proper hydration, not just drinking plenty of water during the game, but up to 24 hours before the game. It just helps make the body perform a little bit better and cuts down on exhaustion because exhaustion can lead to carelessness and carelessness to injury. Coming up in our next hour here on Sunrise, we're going to talk more about parent concerns and what the doctors are saying, and we'll do a little bit more show and tell on how you can prevent injury with your kids out on the soccer field. Anne Marie, Julia. And you've got a pretty good header out there, Carrie. Good for you. <laughs> My favorite things to do, I can say. <laughs> All right, Carrie, thanks. thanks.